Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Invisimals the Alliance. Just doing some finishing off, and I am going to do a bit of cooking on this episode. So, I want to complete all the recipes so I get one of the trophies that I'm missing. Um, so, you can see that there are ticks on the recipes I've already cooked, and I've got some others I need to cook. Now, before I jump into this one, the hanging flower is the most difficult ingredient to find because, well, um, it doesn't appear on the floor. You need to point your PlayStation Vita camera up towards the ceiling. Now, I got 10 in a row by using Gotica and just pointing it at the ceiling and I collected those really easily. So that's the only thing really, you just need to know that to get that ingredient, the hanging flower, you need to point your PlayStation Vita at the ceiling and um, I think you can use any invisible but I used Gotica and I got 10 in a row so I recommend doing that. So let's get started on um, this recipe. Right, place AR cards. Oh. There we go. Okay. That was weird. Flick on the tomato slice it. Chop, 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 chop. Okay, drag the AR cards to join all the ingredients. Okay, shake your PlayStation Vita system while aiming at them. And that one's done. Big healing pack, now for sale, available at the market. Awesome. Okay guys, so moving on to the next recipe that we haven't cooked yet. The Desert Rose. I've actually moved on to my bedroom floor because the AR cards were being such a pain in the ass. So just move that over there. Tap the screen to proceed. Drag the AR card to put the magic stand in the oven. Okay. Heat the oven by blowing on it. Blow, 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 blow. Drag the AR play cards to take out the content of the oven and add it to the hanging flower. Cool it down by blowing on it. Blow, 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 blow. There we go. Blow, 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 blow. As I said before, it's easier just talking into it rather than actually blowing on the Vita. It doesn't seem to recognise it properly when I try, so I just talk into it instead of actually blowing. Okay, so the next one is meatballs with mashed potato. Drag the IR play card to put the potato in the oven. Heat the oven by blowing on it. So I'm just going to keep talking and then the green bar should fill up to the top. Come on green bar, thank you. Drag the IR play card to take the potato out of the oven and add 
it to the milk. Tap repeatedly on the bowl to mash it. There we go. Grind the meat now. Shake your PlayStation Vita sister while aiming at the ground meat. You can hear my wire tapping. There we go. Drag the AR player card to put the meatballs in the oven. Oh, that was an accident. There we go. Heat the oven by blowing on it. So I'll just keep talking at the oven. Come on, oven. Heat up, please. Cook my meatballs. Cook my meatballs good. Add them to the bowl. There we go. Now for sale available at the marketplace, Miracle. Okay, so the next one is... Rainbow Dust. This one looks like it's going to be a long one because there's a heck of a lot of ingredients. Wow, I need to proper move away here. So I think this is like the first one that uses all of the AR cards actually. Just trying to position it. This one's a bit more tricky. There we go. Tap repeatedly on the Atlantis Pearl to mash it. So that middle one. Tap repeatedly on the dark leaf. Tap repeatedly on the rock crystal. Oh, it's that one. Oh no, it's not. The left one. Not too sure why the green bar. Oh no, it's the one on the right. That was weird. Drag the AR play cards to join the mast rock crystal, magic sand, and lava. Drag the AR play cards to join the mashed rock. Okay. Oh, I need that, don't I? Come on. There we go. Shake your PlayStation Vita while holding, aiming at the ingredients. Lazarus, now for sale. Sweet! So now I can actually revive my fallen invisibles when I'm doing fights that contain more than one invisible. So, pearly cream next. Okay, so I'm just going to move that up there. Atlantis pearls to the potato. Okay, drag the mixture to the milk. Shake your PlayStation Vita to mix it. Oh, 
And that one's done. Invisible unlocked. Ice lion. Now for sale. At, uh, now for sale. Available at the market. Sweet. Okay, so that's all of the recipes done. So let's go over to the hostel and check out Ice Lion. Oh, all right, okay, I need to buy it from the marketplace first of all. Ice lion captured. I'm going to buy two ice lions actually. Okay, let's go over to the hostel now then. There he is, my cute little ice lion. Looking really a vibrant blue, actually. So yeah, um, I'm going to decide what else to do on this episode, and I shall be back. Okay guys, well, I was going to enter the House of Knowledge and do the final puzzle um, in here, which I'll just show you now, which is the T-Bone Blueprint. However, I'm having real troubles because... Normally you get the outline of a rectangle and you just rotate the pieces until the line surrounding the piece you have selected is green and then that means it's the correct direction or you know you've positioned it correctly and you can put it into the puzzle but it's not doing that. I have tried it on my bed, I have tried it on my flat surface of the floor and it's been a real pain so I think this puzzle is going to be really awkward so i'm probably going to have to do it off camera but obviously i will show you well i think we get the invisible the t-bone extractor so i'll show you that after but i'll probably have to do this off camera so i'm going to finish up this episode here so don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching guys